what's up guys welcome once again to the dc show it's your boy t mcneil today is tuesday let's talk a little bit of tech gaming news so guys i came across an article today in regards to the possibility of a nintendo 64 classic mini yes you heard that correctly guys a nintendo 64 classic mini that may be heading to our stores very soon now guys please keep in mind that this is actually all speculation and this console has not yet been confirmed from nintendo but without further ado guys let's go ahead and get right into the article images have surfaced online that seemingly show off the nintendo's next upcoming mini console the nintendo 64 class and furthermore on n64 reddit users are speculating whether the leaked images are real as the used nintendo logo is supposed to be gray instead of white in addition the fixation of the controller port cover appears to be a little too fragile for a nintendo product on the other hand faking these renders would be quite impressive due to the amount of detail due to the success of both the nes classic and snes classic mini it seems that it's only a matter of time before Nintendo announces the N64 Classic Mini. And finally guys, Nintendo released the NES Classic Mini back in 2016. The Super NES Classic Edition, also known as the SNES Classic Mini, was released last year. So guys, make sure you do me a great big favor and leave a comment down below in the comment section of this video. And just let me know simply, will you be picking up an N64 Mini Edition? If Nintendo officially announces this thing and decides to bring it out um, and also you know are you guys getting tired of the nostalgic bandwagon I think for me guys I'm gonna get off of that bandwagon for a while uh, because I already have a PlayStation 4 and I have a SNES classic already underneath of my TV and not only the nostalgic bandwagon guys but I, I would say for me I don't really have the the time and I don't really have the the proper uh, amount of inputs on my TV to support all of these different consoles and, and different uh, Blu-ray players and, and etc. You know guys, so you guys may have it and that's all well and good, but for me, because of my busy schedule, you know, I just don't have the time uh, or really the patience really to even continue to collect all of these consoles. Um, you know, but it, it's, it's a good thing, guys, you know, if, if you have children or, you know, if you guys just want to basically revisit the old days, I would say go for it. All right, guys. So definitely leave me that comment down below. And also, what do you guys think this console would cost if Nintendo decides to actually release this thing? Um, I think a fair price would roughly be in between $79 to $100. I mean, you know, these consoles are well over 20 years old, so... There's really no need to spend any more than that. All right, guys. So do not forget to hit the like button if you enjoy this content, guys. And also make sure that you hit that subscribe button as well. All right, guys. Also, do not forget to follow me on Instagram at the, that's T-H-E underscore DC show and the number one. All right, guys. So I appreciate you watching and listening. And to